commodity trades. Very important in all markets is to attempt to trade the trend. Trading against the trend or counter trend trading can be highly risky but can be achieved if you're a good trader. But the easiest way to take a trade is confirming the trend and I'm going to show you something today that many of you including our customers haven't seen yet and it's a setting that I'm using on our diamond trending system and it is absolutely incredible and um, Brad Bedford Brown my colleague is actually producing a foundations course which goes into a lot more detail than I'm going to go into today about these settings but trust me on this they're very powerful and you'll see it live so trading the trend very very important I'm going to show you some trend clusters today what is a trend cluster in trade guider it's the computerized use of at least three or more old trend lines drawn months or even years ago that have now converged or intersected at the current data today prices have been moved back into or near their area of influence these clusters represent support and resistance okay Let's go to the charts. Okay, and I'll wait for this to catch up with you. Okay, can everybody see my 10 minute ES chart here? Just want to make sure everyone can see this. It's a 10 minute E mini S running live right now. Can everyone see that? Okay, I just want to make sure that I've got lots of yeses before I start analyzing this. Okay, good. Marvellous. All right. Okay. Now, interesting. Look at this volume here, live, just come in. This is actually very, very interesting because the spread is very wide and it's closed in the middle. This next bar now will be very, very important to uh, the analysis because we know professional money have come in here and potentially held this up. Now, we're at this pivot number right below me. These pivots are generated by the Trade Guider program. Now let me just put up 60 bars for a minute and I want to show you what happened. And this is why <clears throat> a lot of traders have great difficulty with this and I'm going to explain it. Rule number one, when weakness appears in a price chart, when it appears, it will appear in an up bar, i.e. in an up move. Okay? When strength appears, when it appears, it will appear on a down bar or in a down move. Now, we designate an up bar by a price bar that closes higher than its previous bar. I repeat, an up bar, from a trade guider point of view, is a bar that closes higher than its previous bar. Notice then that as this market moves up on increased volume, we get a big surge of volume here, we get a surge of volume here. So we've got increasing volume on up bars. That is actually, generally speaking, weakness. But we need to wait for the moment of confirmation of the weakness. What happens is, as the market continues to go up, we see an exhaustion in the volume. And sure enough, here is the final effort to move through R2, which is our resistance number this morning. So at 9.20, the market had been marked up heavily to R2 and then had come off to fall and close below our previous bar. So the logic is very simple. If professional money are buying the market here, that bar would hardly close down after it had been marked up to our resistance level. Now this is where Trade Guider is totally unique and I'm hopeful, um, I'm going to in a second go to my scanner and just let me show you what I'm doing here on another computer. I have got my scanner here scanning all of the contracts for signals. We can see that there's different charts that I've got open here, but I'm really looking to see. Now I can see I've got a sign of strength on the daily chart of the Dow, okay, but I want to look for more. There's a sign of weakness appeared here. I'm going to be looking for signs of weakness or strength to come in and for alignment, but I'm going to explain that in a minute. But just know that I'm scanning multiple markets right now. Um, in multiple time frames to try to see if I can identify a really good trade. The good trade this morning, okay, and yes this is being taped Chris, the good trade today was of course here, but where is your entry? We get signs of weakness at the top, now these are red 
trade guider indicators. I, I hate to use the word sell signals, although it's very difficult for those of you that were with me this morning. When these appeared live, <laughs> you, you know, the market falls and, and someone says, well, these are sell signals. They're really not. They are indications of weakness. And this is what's unique about trade guider. If we left click, as I just did on a signal, Tom Williams, the master trader, comes and talks to us and tells us exactly what's going on. In this instance, which was the first indicator of, uh, near my pivot number, a low volume up bar indicates no demand from the market makers. Generally, you'd be pushing your luck to go low in the market with no demand. But there must be a reason for the lack of demand. If the volume is high, then supply may be overcoming demand, especially if the bar is closed or in the middle or near its lows. Well, actually, it closes off the highs, but the next bar gives me a real clue as to what's going on. Here, we've got a down bar closing lower than its previous bar, but on increasing volume. If this increasing volume was buying, how would it close on the low? It simply wouldn't. This is what I call an upthrust type maneuver. Okay, it's actually a hidden up thrust. It's not a perfect up thrust, but it's a good example of the market marked up on increased volume. Okay, and it tells us then, it says, this is a sign of weakness that can be gapped up on low volume. What do we have in the background? If the market is trending up with persistent higher lows, the trend is up. Well, at that point, the trending system was up, so I did not enter a position in here. High volume up bars in the background with the market refusing to go up is a sign of weakness. Let's go up. High volume up bars in the background with the market refusing to go up is a sign of weakness. It is. And then finally, we get another hidden up thrust. It tells us here, low volume up bars show no demand, which is an unwillingness of the market makers to participate in a rising market because they know at that moment in time on this 10 minute chart, it is weak. High volume up bars closing in the middle or low are also signs of weakness. And therefore, we wait for the trending system, which I'm showing you here in the diamonds. I want you to focus on the color of the diamonds. Forget the color of the bars for a second, that they're specific. I want you to focus on the diamonds. When you have green diamonds underneath or near the bar and it's moving up, we don't short, even though we've seen a red signal. The best place to short this market today was actually on that bar there. Why? And let me highlight it. If we look at what's happened, everything is lining up with confluence. And I'm very much hoping to see okay, the same thing. At the moment, I'm seeing potential strength at the right edge. We've got green diamonds. We would expect this and this support here to respond positively to the upside. But I have to take out my old high here and wait for a test. A test is a low volume down bar. So what we're looking for is the green diamonds to confirm this up move. Okay, I came out of my short position on the pivot actually. And now we've got assigns of strength appeared live. Perfect. Why has the software put it in? It's seen strength appearing on this bar and the next bar is up. If we get a low volume down bar now, that's a test, that's a sign to enter the market to a long trade and my dome is ready to go in long. Having seen this, this is sign of strength and providing the diamond straight green, we should see a nice little rally this afternoon um, based on the evidence I'm seeing at the moment. Remember, the markets can always change. You can have a sign of strength which can be countermanded by a sign of weakness. So we have to bear, bear, be very aware of that. But I'm using this longer term time frame. So here, sign of weakness, we have four red diamonds. Then this bar here on my fourth red diamond is a low volume down up bar. Look at the volume, it's declining, but the bar is closing higher than the next bar. And the next bar is confirmation of the weakness because it closes lower than the no demand bar. Very logical, very easy to follow up. Now at the bottom live, we've got the opposite issue. We've got potential strength at the pivot number at 907. We've got high volume on a down bar with the next bar up. Now we want to see a test bar, which is a low volume bar, preferably into the body of this bar with no volume telling us there's no selling after the signs of strength. 